Hello and welcome to another video by the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be taking a look at the November update for the Samsung SmartThings app. The first new feature in this update is Scenes Widgets. This allows you to have widgets on your home screen that allow you to trigger scenes. You can either have a 1x1 widget, which can only have a single scene on it, or you can have a 4x2 widget. The 4x2 widget can hold up to 4 different scenes. The next new feature in this update is the ability to automatically arm and disarm SmartThings Home Monitor. This allows you to change the arm state of the SmartThings Home Monitor with custom automations. To do this, click on the plus sign on the main menu, click on Add Automation, and then put your trigger in here. For this example, I'll just use Location Mode. As you can see under then, you can now change the Security Mode. The next feature in this update includes Buy Buttons right in the SmartThings app. This will allow you to click on a buy button, which will redirect you to the Samsung.com website to purchase certain devices. If a device is sold on Samsung.com, you'll have the buy button next to it. Clicking on it will bring you to the website to find out more information and ultimately purchase if you want to. If a device is not sold on the website, there will not be a button next to it. The next feature in this update, which is a big feature for me, is the addition of the Smart Apps menu. This allows you to add and manage automations in the Smart Apps menu, which was originally called Recommended Automations. This means you can now add and interact with custom smart apps right within the app. I personally find this to be a big enhancement, as I've been waiting to be able to use WebCore within the new app for a very long time, and is honestly probably the primary reason why I have been sticking with the classic app for so long. Now that there is direct support for WebCore within this app, I'll probably give this app a chance and see if there's any other issues or anything that I'm missing still. The last listed major update is improvements to the drawer menu. This is supposed to allow for easily distinguishing between location and account level settings in the menu. And that's it for the listed features that are included in the November update for the Samsung SmartThings app. Let me know in the comments below if you think the latest update will finally help you move over to the new SmartThings app, or if you still plan to hold out on the classic app. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. Thank you for watching.